Hello and welcome to the Slingshot channel. Today we're talking about using powerful LED flashlights as self-defense tools. <laughs> Let me explain about the concept. It is true, flashlights have been going a long way in the last years. You can now get really plenty of good models from many, many different manufacturers and actually the true engineering spirit behind them is the maker of the LED itself. It's this yellow little rectangle that you see in here. Um, the company is called Cree, it's an American company, and without them we would not have LCD or LED televisions. Uh, we would not have a blue LED in the first place, and we would certainly not have this super powerful flashlights that can do uh, many thousand lumen of light power. Uh, I picked this one because it's a good example about how a modern uh, flashlight needs to be de designed. First of all, you can directly load it with a USB cable, so you don't have to take out the battery. Um, it also is super bright. I mean, this is so bright that I'm not sure if the, yeah, the camera would automatically go down, but it is absolutely impossible to look into the light, even in broad daylight on a bright day like this. You can't do it. It's that bright. And they also have different modes. For example, a strobe mode. So this is the strobe mode, which is really annoying if you look into it. Oh. It blinds you. Actually, if someone takes this and shines right into your face, I think it's it's impossible to attack. You would have to attack blindly, and that is kind of a tough deal. In any case, so is this a good self-defense tool? Well, not necessarily, because you know it is a distraction more than a self-defense item. But they also have other options that I think can be combined. There are these little piezo sound makers that are really loud. Whoa! <laughs> I'm not sure if the camera can record this right, but this is really an annoying sound. It, I mean, it, it is ear piercing, very loud and nasty. And But I think that if you can combine these two, because here's actually a little flashlight is included, but of course it's not bright at all, so this is useless in comparison to this one. But if you could combine those, then, actually, I think it would be a good tool for self-defense that's completely unregulated everywhere in, in, I think, in the world. I don't think that there's a single country that prevents you from taking a flashlight and a noise generator with you. In any case, if you combine them, and we, this is the Slingshot channel, so we will have to do it in a badass way. <laughs> Let me explain my concept to you. My idea is to use one of the most popular design designs on the market for backup self-defense pistols, the Glock 26, aka the baby Glock. <laughs> Use the same design, put the flashlight in here and put the piezo sound generator in here and also make it possible that the trigger activates both the light plus also uh, the piezo sound. Um, and of course this would be a little bit unconventional and in a country where it's legal to carry real guns It could even be quite dangerous, but like in Europe where nobody really carries guns This could actually be a nice alternative to the usual pepper spray thing that also is impossible to take to uh, To things like a rock concert or something So I decided to go ahead and build a baby Glock frame from wood of course and design it in a way that I could integrate the piezo sound system, saw it apart into two pieces, um, so that the sound generators would poke downwards, and then actually the, uh, the electronics would be inside here, and also design a trigger that would at the same time activate the piezo sound generator, but also press on the button for the flashlight, so that at the same time the sound will start and also the flashlight will be active. So, I started out with my usual plywood approach and um, now this is what I came up with. This is my baby Glock flashlight frame. <laughs> and actually the sound generator is already integrated. <laughs> and it is chambered, quote unquote, for this inexpensive zoomable flashlight. So you just put it in and then you attach it with a cable tie or with some bailing wire or whatever it actually made it possible to do this over the natural rings that they put in here. So now you see I attached the unchanged flashlight with a little bit of uh, bailing wire. It really doesn't take much, it's just so that it doesn't fall out. 
And now it is on there very firmly and I think that this looks very much like a convincing <laughs> baby Glock, don't you think? <laughs> Down here we have the piezos and you can zoom the light like this. And if you want to activate it, if you only pull the trigger lightly, then what happens is that you would switch on the light. And then again, you can really zoom out and zoom in. And we'll do this tonight and you will see it much more clearly. And if you pull the trigger all the way, the piercing sound. <laughs> okay, now we're out in the dark. And now what happens when I switch on the light? <laughs> but now ha look what happens when I focus. Yeah, you don't want to look into this kind of light. Amazing. Okay, now you see that the light reflects back from the tree that is close to me. But now I'm looking at trees that are probably 30, 40 meters away from me. Those trees. Look at that. Amazing. Now that is my guest house up there. It's probably 30 meters from here. If you want one of these lights, I put the link down into the text for you. You can buy it on Amazon actually. It's not expensive, about 20 euros. I think a really good price for a light like that. Well made and super bright. So this basically now is a baby Glock that shoots pure light. <laughs> and actually I like it because it has the original size of the Glock and even though I will probably not carry it just because I don't want to get shot. <laughs> I think it's one of the coolest pocket lights that I've ever saw. Also I think it is far more intuitive to simply pull the trigger if you want to switch on and off a light. And I think it's also easier to point. I mean I'm a gun guy so probably that's why it appeals to me so much more than just a flashlight. In any case it's a lot of fun and also loud. <laughs> <laughs> now will this go into production? Well, I'm talking to actually one of my ex-sponsors. I no longer do sponsored videos, but I still have the contacts. See if I can convince them to make one. I think it needed to be designed a little bit different because otherwise that would be uh, an issue with patent laws. But in any case, I also think that the uh, mode of operation needs to be different. I would want a trigger that as long as I press it, um, the light goes on and stays on. If I release it, it goes off again. Also, I would want like a safety switch, quote unquote, um, that works like light only, light and sound and strobe and sound. So it has three different settings uh, so that I could also take this uh, with me if I want to walk the dog during the night hours. <laughs> In any case, this is a lot of fun and I hope that you liked it. Thanks and bye bye. <laughs>